So when I woke up this morning, I'ma let you guys know right now, I wasn't expecting to get the news that Colt McCoy got placed on IR and that Trace McSorley got called up. Although it doesn't necessarily affect us in the long run because Kyler is the starter, we saw what Colt McCoy does to this team when he has to step in. He balled out and he won games against good teams. And like I said, although it doesn't necessarily matter because as long as Kyler stays healthy, we wouldn't see him anyways, it still sucks not having him out there. And the rumor is that McCoy was dealing with an arm issue for pretty much the entire training camp. And this Monday, he ended up straining his calf. You can hear it from Cliff right here. You know, just heard it during practice and it's unfortunate, but um, we'll get Trace going and uh, keep it rolling. So this is honestly super unfortunate, but at the same time, it is a good opportunity for Trace McSorley. Trace McSorley, who we signed to the practice squad a couple days ago, just got elevated literally probably a week later. And to be honest, I'm comfortable having him as our backup. We saw in preseason that he could probably handle the load, and although we were running a pretty vanilla offense like every team does in the preseason, I think he'll be fine running our plays if it comes down to that. And while we're on the injury train, let's talk about how many people on our team are dealing with calf problems right now. So not only did Colt McCoy just strain his calf, we also have JJ Watt, who has a calf injury. That is a huge blow if he's not gonna be able to play on Sunday. And we also have Zach Ertz, which is also another huge blow, not only for the Cardinals, but for my fantasy team as well. Obviously, I care about the Cardinals winning more than I do my fantasy league, but you know, it hits both sides. And if you haven't seen the injury report yet for the Cardinals, I mean, take a look at it. It's not very comforting whatsoever. This is like what you'd see in week four or five. But instead, we haven't even played a game yet, and this is what it looks like. We also have players like Justin Pugh, Ezekiel Turner, Jonathan Ward, who got hurt in preseason, Aaron Brewer, I don't know what happened there, Trayvon Mullen, who we just traded for, Rodney Hudson's here, but he's resting, and then Marcus Golden's dealing with a toe injury too. A lot of those players are starters, so it's not a good look. We just gotta hope these guys are good to play on Sunday, because if not, Kansas City might have a field day, and with the way our defense looks, even when they're fully healthy, I'm not super comfortable. But regardless, we're just gonna have to keep going on and we're just gonna have to have that next man up mentality. And what I want you guys to do is let me know down in the comment section below how you guys are feeling about this Colt McCoy injury. Do you think it's not a big deal? Do you think Trace McSorley is gonna be fine as the backup? Make sure you let me know what you think. And also, if you guys are new to the channel and ended up enjoying today's video, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post NFL and Arizona Cardinals related content, so if you're a fan of either of those, this is the perfect channel for you. But like I said, that's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out. And love is love, and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure, and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone. You know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory, I tell you how it tastes.